Hi you guys, it's your girl Julie Jam back and I'm coming back with another video to show you guys how I make my jewelry. Here is a bracelet that I made last night, which was Saturday. Um, and it came out so beautifully. I love this taco. Ta taco taco. Um, they're really pretty, but the bracelet goes on like this. And I made this last night. And here's the matching ring. My finger's pretty big, you guys. I'm sure you all know that already. But this is the beautiful ring that goes to the beautiful bracelet. But today we're going to learn how to make the ring so I'm going to teach you guys how to make this ring this is not my own design um, someone else I watched one of their tutorials and I don't know if it's her design or she was just recreating something but I said I'm going to try to do it so I did it but mine look a little bit different than hers I can tell I messed up just a little bit it's not as pretty as hers but I'll try to leave her link if you guys want to know um, who she is. So, I'm going to start with giving you guys the list of things that you're going to need. So, first you're going to need monofilament, which is just a fancy name for fishing wire, I found out. Um, but this is a 12 pound. I think she used a 6 pound. It's thinner, um, like it's thinner, but I like this because it's so sturdy, so I like this. So you need about a, a half a yard. I say a half a yard for the ring because um, you want to make it long enough because you got to go in between each one more than one time. So make it pretty long. <clears throat> then you're going to need one bead. Let me sit this up here so you guys can see it. You're gonna need one um, 10 millimeter bead, but I don't know which one I wanna use. If I wanna use the gray, I mean, yeah, the gray or the white, um, but I don't know yet, so I'm just gonna lay these off to the side. Then, But you only need one of those. Then you're gonna need uh, two six millimeter beads, and then you're gonna need um, a lot of the I think she had 10 O's, but I don't have those. I got 11 O's, so that's what I'm going to use. Then she had um, 6 O's, so I use 6 O's. And of the, if you have them, of the um, 10 millimeter, 10, 10 O's, if you have them, you need two different sizes in there because once you do the lattice, you're going to need at least one to like separate the two. The way she do it is cute because she makes it in different colors, but I think because the orange is so vibrant, I just wanted to stick with, you know, black and then put a little white because I have white in there. I didn't want it to be too dramatic, but I might just do both colors in and out like she did on the, um, the lattice with this one. So, and then you need something to cut it. I'm going to use this because I want to get it close up once I get ready to cut it. So, let's get started. Oh, and you guys, one of my winners, she made a video. I'm going to try to leave the link below. Um, she got the package that I gave her and made a video of it. And I thank you, thank you so much. Um, she's so sweet. But yeah, you guys, go take a look at her page. Her and her daughter, they do a lot of little crafts together. So, let's get started. <clears throat> um, This is my fishing wire and what you want to do first is I'm going to move, try to move this out the way but what you want to do first is get them both together and keep it like this um, so what you're going to pick up first is on this you can paint these I should have painted them to let you guys see them but um, the best you can so we're going to do two on each on each one and then we'll take one more 
and we're going to go in between bring it up pull it down okay that's how you do it now it should look a little weird but it's okay so um now we're going to take this one of them and you're going to add on six beads so let's go six of the six o beads one two in there okay moving on three four five six and you want to make sure you have six because I've done it before and I did not have six so that's three and three yeah so now I think I choose the silver. So I'm going to take the silver ball and then we're going to go through with the other end. The wires are crossed. Okay. So we're going to take it through this hole. Now. We bring these back up. All right, where are you? All right. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, you guys, maybe you should color yours. <laughs> Let me move this out the way. Color your um, tips so that you won't get confused, especially if it's your first time doing it, because it can get confusing when you're first doing it. It's confusing me, and I done made a ton of these rings, and uh... <laughs> bring this up. Oh. And this is these rings are kind of heavy. I don't know if it's because I'm using. The glass beads or not but they are kind of heavy so when you're done you'll have a little something like this Hold on. you'll have a little something like this so then what you want to do is take this one on this end go through here just this one. And you pull it through. And don't worry about it being loose at this point because the way we're going to do it is going to be tightened up. Just make sure you don't tie a knot in it. Now, you'll have something like this. Now that you have something like this, you want to take this one that's coming out of this bead right here. Take that and put six on there. So we're going to go one. It'd be nice if I had them all lined up. Those are too big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, 
you're going to take the 6 1 and go through the 6 bead. <coughs> guys can see me so you're gonna have something like this right here so then what you want to do is take this one and go through this one B right there so I'm gonna let that string go and take this string that's coming out of this hole and I'll put it through here so you're taking it through there and then you pull and then that's going to bring it together and then what you do is you do what you did on this side on this side so we're going to pick up two on this one two on this one and then go through the pearl bead so we pick up one two because I'm right-handed, I'm going to pick up two on this side. One. Oh. Where did you go? And then you're going to take your bead and put it on one and cross through it. And bring it up together at a point. Then just pull the bead. Oh man, I got so much stuff on this desk. And then there you have your first thing. And it's all about what you prefer. I think I want to take off two of these so that it can fit snug in there. So on this, that's why I say I didn't do it exactly how she did it. I just try to do my own to fit my own hand. So we're going to cross through this bead. Again, I just left two on um, one on each one. So you take it, bring these two together, and then you pull it down. Yeah, I like that it looked better. Now we have to position ourselves to do the top. Like how I did this top. You see how I got it around here? So the way we're going to position that is we're going to take this. <clears throat> and we're going to take it up through this bead. And then through... This bead, this one right here, and let it be loose just a little bit because it's going to come a point where you're going to wish it was loose, and it's not going to be. And then you just do the same on the other side. You bring it up through here, through this bead. And then you take it through this one. And then you just pull them down. And they'll just gonna easily tighten up. But the way you're positioned now, hold on. The way you're positioned now is gonna be like that, but it's gonna be crossed. So you want to uncross it by taking it into the other hand like this. And don't worry about it bending like that. It's going to 
It's going to straighten up on its own. So now you're going to take one. Now that they're both coming out, I hope you can see. They're both coming out. One coming out this hole, one coming out this hole, but they're both coming out right there. So what you're going to do is take this one, one of them at a time, and you're going to take <clears throat> one of your, one of your 11 O's, and you're going to cross through there. So I'm going to take this other part, hope you guys can see, and cross through it. And I just pull for this part. It's going to fit nicely. So it's going to fit nicely in there like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this side first. It doesn't matter which side you take. I just go with this side because I'm on this side. So you want to grab four of the ten holes. So that's one, two, three, four. So I got four of them on there and you're gonna go your uh oh this thing is so slippery to work with guys so did I just make a knot you don't want to make a knot guys not yet I still got the four on there. I don't know how that not happened. Because you don't want to make a knot yet, you guys. Because you, in the end, you want to pull them all, to be able to pull them all together. So, you don't go through this one. This one, you definitely not. These two, these two right here, you're never going to go through right now. So you do there, so you skip this one, and you go through this one, but go up. But make sure you go through the hole, but up. Come on. That's why I say you want it to stay a little loose. And then you pull it. Once you go through the hole and up, then you pull it like that. And then you're gonna take it and bring it through the last one, that last bead, and then you pull it through. So it'll be like that. Then you're gonna get grab three more. One, two, three. And you're going through, you end of this one. So you're going to skip this one and go up this one. <clears throat> and then you pull it through. And then the last one that you do right here. You're gonna go through that. And then you pull it. Now, that's gonna stay like that. Now you turn it and do the same thing that you did on this side. So I'm gonna start off with four. <clears throat> One, two, 
three. Four. And now you come out of this one, so you're going to skip this one and go through this one. So you go up through that one, you pull it, and then the last one, you're going to go down and out through the last little one. So what it's doing is, it's making a loop. If you can see that, it's making a loop there, a loop there. So make sure you pull in them. Now, you're going to take three. One, you dropped out. So one. Three. Now you in through this one. You in through this one, so you want to go skip this one and go through this one. Come on. I normally push it with my nail so that I can just have it on the outside. I think I went through the wrong hole. Yep. I want to go through. So I'm through that one. Come on. I want to go through this one. And the last one. You go through that one. Now, what you want to do is, once you got that like that, you need to start pulling, pushing them down before we close them. <clears throat> Did I go through the right one? Yeah. That's why we're going to tighten it up. It's hard to be going and be trying to stick in the little holes. I'm just going to take this out. If you find it's not coming together like that and it's taking too long to get it right, just take it off and start over because you definitely don't want to get too far. And then <clears throat> you can't start over. There's something going on with this one. I hope I didn't tie a knot. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to take it and go through, not this one, but this one. And remember, you're going to have to go through the last bead. <clears throat> and then pull them both to where they're getting snugged in there. Now, what you want to do is you want to take three on each end of this. So, one, two, Three, and because I'm right-handed, I gotta switch arms. 
one, two, three. I'm going to make sure they're not crossed. And then you're going to take one bead, one of these D beads. And you're going to cross them. So just pull it. Keep pulling it down. And it's going to make like a perfect, perfect circle. And you want to keep messing with them. Pulling but we're gonna get that back right so don't worry about it so much now now what you have to do is bend these because now you have to go out to get ready to do your lattice um cross stitches so you're going to take this side this one that's coming out of this one and you're going to go through this bead so you go through here And you're going to pull it, and that's going to start tightening it up. Then you're going to take the opposite string, and then you're going to bend it and go through here. Now you pull it tight. Now you should have something like that. Now you should have something like that. So now we're going to position these beads to get ready. So we're going to take this one and go through these two. And take this one and go through this one. So now what we're going to do, and you should have something like that. So that's the start of your ring. Now we're going to go we're going to do three on each one. So we're going to go blue, white, Blue. See? Blue, white, blue. Then do the same over here. Blue. White. Blue. Then put that back. And take one more. And then you're going to go through, I'm going to do the a white because um, I got to end with a blue, so I'm going to do it with a white. So you take the white and you pull it through here. Bring it up and pull it down. And you have something like that. So that's the first part of our ring. Now, you're going to keep doing it like that. So we're going to take one, put three. So one, blue, white, blue. Then blue. White, blue, and then I'm going to take this and we're going to do a white and cross through it. And we're going to keep doing this until we get our length. Or if you have one, if you're making it for someone and you got the ring finger size, so they can wrap around the gauge. 
on their finger. And that's your first circle. So we're gonna do a couple more, and I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna come back once you got that all done to fit your ring finger or someone's finger you're doing it for. One, the blue, red, blue, I said red, I meant white, blue, white, and that's not even open, white, blue, then we're going to take a white, do I got any more white out here, no, let me get some more white. This is a disaster. I should have had all this stuff ready. All right, so we take a white. And we're gonna cross through the white. Like so, we bring it down. And there's another one. I'm gonna do one more with you guys. So we're gonna go blue, white, blue, we're gonna go blue, white, blue, then take this other one, so when we get crisscrossed, grab a white, go through the white, pull it down, and then once you can go around your finger, all the way around, then um, unpause the video. I'm gonna do one more for you guys. I know I keep saying it right. <laughs> so we're gonna go blue. This is pretty, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I think the first part is, um, the hardest. So blue, white, blue, blue, white, blue, then grab a white. And then you take it and you go through that white and you pull it down. If you want, you can go like that and pull it down. It really doesn't matter. And this is what you have. That is a lattice, you guys. So once you get all these filled up to match your ring finger or to go around the number on um, the ring sizer, then push on pause and we'll start I'll show you how to close it up okay so now that you done did it to the length that you need when you do get it to the exact size you need size do one more lattice because you want it to be a little bit longer than what you need because after we go through this um, and tighten it, it's gonna tighten up. So it's gonna be the exact size you need. You just make one more um, lattice, doing the blue, white, blue, white, um, like the blue, white, blue.
and then blue white blue and then going through one more time so after you've done that then we're gonna do it one more time so we can go through the other bead on the other side so we're gonna go blue white blue but you're not gonna use white to connect it because you're gonna go through the bead so blue white blue and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna go through this bead so you're gonna go through one side And then you're going to go through the other side with the other one. It's going to end up getting a little stuffy. Because you got to go through it. But then you just pull it. Until it comes together like that, like it is on the other side. Now, it's it's pretty big. My finger is pretty big, but now that we have that, we have to go through. Now, that's why I said make it a little longer than what you, you would. So you wanna go in through here and up through here. Sometimes I can get it all the way, and sometimes I can't. It's still a little loose now, but once we finish it, it won't be loose at all. But I, want, I need to go all the way through, so I'm just going to go through this one. And don't worry, it'll tighten up. I keep wanting to go up through that one, but then it don't go up through it. Oh, and I pulled it out. All right. Be patient. So I'm gonna go up and through there. Is that right? Oh, I didn't go in through there. Hold on, guys. It came out. So you gotta go through here. Then out. Go through there and then pull. This bead is crooked for some reason. But that's okay. We need this to be like this now, but it's not going to be like this all the time. So enjoy this looseness. Go through there. It's hard to see. This is when it's going to get hard to see, guys, what you're doing underneath. In there, okay. I got it through there. So, what we're doing is we're going all the way through, guys, because we're all we're doing is going back through our work and tightening it up. Now, normally, it'll let me go all the way through without having to come and stop, bend this a little bit. Get it up. Come on. Where are you? All right, came out through the back side. And then Go back through the speed. But do not tie a knot. And then come out through this one. Now, we're positioned for this side. Now we gotta do it on this side. And remember, it's gonna tighten itself up with all the stuff we're doing. 
So you're gonna go in through here, this bead. Then you're gonna come in through here. But remember, don't tie a knot yet. Pull, then go back through here. We're trying to get back to position ourselves to do the finish the rest of the bead work. Try not to get in you guys' way. And I'm gonna change it. Then come out to this one. And as you guys can see, I did not put two on this side like I was supposed to. So I messed up, but this is not for anyone. This is for me. So I'm really not caring too much about that. But if it was for someone, I would have to start all over. So now, now pull to bring everything together. And don't worry about breaking this wire because I'm telling you, this wire is top notch. So let's start on this side for the first one. We have to do three beads. One, two, three. And then you're gonna go in through the white one. So what I do is I pull it up and push it up so that I can get it in there. Cause it's gonna start getting a little crowded guys. Then you pull it and those three beads will fall. Oh crap. Those three beads will fall right into place. You see that? Oh, that's that one. And try not to get them crossed up, guys. What I do normally is I bend this right here through my fingers and hold it over there. Because you don't want to cross your bead work. So then you take two. Now from now on, you take two beads. You only do three beads when you first start out. So one two two beads and you're going to always go through the white ones so you see the white one pull it up that's why you should at least do you know two colors but if you got the black you know you got to go through this, the middle one every time even if you do it one solid color just remember that <clears throat> And then you pull so it's coming together a little nicely then you do two more you're gonna do this all the way around the band so I got two and always go through the white so but soon it's gonna get to where you ain't gonna be able to push it up like this Pull it through. And then that's in place. And then you're going to do two more. And by the time you get into the middle of the bracelet, you want to um, start on this side. So that you can pull it at the same time. One. Two. <clears throat> always through the white always through the middle because see blue white blue well this is like that turquoise color you guys know I love turquoise <clears throat> so it's coming together then you got two more and I'm almost in the middle, so I'm going to turn to the other side. <clears throat> this is what I would consider the middle. So once you get that into place, I'm turning on this side. Then you're going to do three.
And then you're going to take it through this white one. <laughs> then you're going to start doing two. One, two. Through this next white one. When you go through that blue one, come on. <clears throat> if you can see that, let's just keep on going. Keep on going. It's all gonna pull together. Get just keep grabbing two. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a great day. <clears throat> hope everything is going well. You guys, I am looking for that gunmetal color. I cannot, I done been to every place down here. Joanne Fabrics, everywhere. I just cannot find it. I don't know where it is. But I want the gunmetal in all 11 O's, 6 O's, any of them. Okay, you guys, so this is what we have now. Now you're going to keep doing it all the way around. And once you finish, push play. So, yeah, you guys, I got it through there. And, of course, I had to do this one through the back because it didn't want to um, go. But I knotted it through here and then pulled it through here. And then what you do is you go in... That's why I like using this because where you knot it at, do not cut it. Go in and go down a little bit further and then you cut it. So I'm going to cut it here. And that's why I like using this because you can get up and cut it like close. So I brought it out through here. And I'm going to take it through these three. If it come out, like I said, you guys, it's gonna be a tight fit from here on out. So wherever you can get it out, I'm gonna try to get it through the, take it out through the white one. Okay, and then you bring it in. Pull it to the to the knot, but the knot not here. I just want to cut it through here. You always bring it down a couple more before you cut it, 
because you don't want to cut it right next to the knot and then unravel but I done knotted all the way throughout these so I knotted it here I knotted it here then I knotted it here then I knotted it here then you bring it through here and you're gonna cut it there so never cut it where you knot it because you don't want um, and it should be perfectly round if you didn't pull it too hard and there you go we just made a ring a pretty ring you guys know I love this color and the lattice is so pretty now you can get different results from this if you add two on here or if you add one it'll look different like with this one it's kind of going out like a flower kind of like look like a bow like that's the middle and then these are flaring out like a bow and I did three on the outside so yeah you guys if you like this video thumbs up like share and subscribe leave comments below if you have any questions and as always you guys have a blessed blessed day there it is so next I'm gonna show you guys how to make the bracelet so yeah like share and subscribe bye you guys and I'm gonna leave my winter video in the description bar below all you have to do is click on the little triangle icon right up under the video and it'll bring it up and you can just click to her page and see the unpackaging she did of the winter all right guys bye